A while back, we covered the world's first AI engineer, a framer called Devin, developed by Cognition Labs. At the time, it already was setting state-of-the-art results on the Sway Bench coding benchmark, where it's capable of solving complex real-world software engineering tasks autonomously. Now, we've showcased multiple different sorts of AI coding assistants on this channel, from GitHub Copilot to Cursor, all the way to Klein. But Devin doesn't just auto-complete lines of code like these coding assistants. It's an autonomous AI agent that's equipped with a suite of tools from the code editor with a shell, web browser, and full internet access capable of executing engineering tasks end-to-end. -end. Now, since its initial release, Devin has been relentlessly upgraded with each core feature. It's now more reliable, more proficient, and widely considered a serious tool for real-world development. You can actually spin up multiple Devins in parallel, each working on different tasks, which is why I really wanted to showcase it throughout today's video. You can even chat with Devin to give feedback as well as have it debug certain sections of your code. It even integrates seamlessly with tools like Slack, Linear, Jira, GitHub, GitLab, and so many other options. And there's even a Devin API, which lets your team or yourself programmatically launch Devins into response to things like build failures or crashes. And on top of the core agent itself, they've introduced two new major sub products. Ask Devin, which is going to provide ultra accurate question answering across your code base, like a deep research for engineers. And then there's a deep wiki. This is where it's going to be able to transform your repo into comprehensive documentation with diagrams. And seriously, it's like having a full documentation team on the call. Now, this is something that we're going to be exploring because there has been a lot of new updates since we last covered it. So with that thought, let's dive straight into it. Now, I know one of the main pain points behind Devin back in the day was that it was really unaccessible because they did have a tier which was pretty expensive for most users. But now they have introduced a core plan, which is pay as you go. And it starts at $20, which is where you get access to almost everything that I mentioned. And it's going to get you the most out of Devin. So this is something that I would recommend using if you're looking towards getting started. But now let's actually take a look at how you can use Devin. AI software engineer. Go ahead and click on start building if you're interested in creating an account and getting started with Devin. You will then be sent over to this page, which is where you can actually select a Git provider to import your existing project to have the AI software engineer deployed into it. You can also create one completely from scratch. So we're going to go ahead and connect GitHub. After you have created an account, you're going to be then sent over to the main dashboard of Devin. This is essentially where you can talk in natural language describe a task or a question, and then Devin will be able to assist you with that. You have the ability to attach files, repos, macros, and many other things, attach various sorts of files here. You can provide context to your repos after you have connected it to something like GitLab or GitHub, and then you can use the agent or you can use the ask agent, which is where it's going to be able to answer questions with the agent. It's going to be able to use its software engineer to work on tackling your tasks hand by hand with you. You have the ability to also connect Slack or Linear, and this is where you can assign tools to these two different applications where you can automatically pull in tickets for Devin to work on, like within Slack, or you can assign Devin to multiple issues in parallel with these two different connectors. Now, on the left hand side, you have the ability to create new sessions and manage all your previous sessions, and then you can even work within the sessions individually. You have Ask Devin as well, where you have the ability to ask questions about your overall repository. And then the deep wiki, as we had mentioned, is where it creates a full on documentation for your repository all autonomously. Obviously, within the settings, you have the ability to manage your billing metrics, Devin settings, where you have the ability to manage all your repositories, as well as your Devin machine. And then you can even manage your knowledge base, playbooks, as well as secrets. What's also cool is that they have integrated an MCP marketplace. So this is where it's going to enhance Devin's flexibility even further, where you can now use these different tools to enhance the agent's capabilities. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. 
what you want to do to get started when working with Devin is where you want to first start off by indexing the repository. And obviously you can create from scratch, but what we're going to be doing is indexing this deep seek web crawler that I had created. This is where it's going to be then sent over to the AI agent to get familiarized with the actual code base so that it's able to reference the context of what we have provided and better assist us with it. Then what we can do is also add it to the machine. So this way we can add in this repo to the Devon machine so that we can start cloning and working with it. So there we go. It has now been indexed and then we have set up the virtual machine. So in this case, this is a dedicated AI work environment, a virtual development setup spun up for each Devon session to work with our web crawler that we had attached and indexed. So to test this out, to see if Devin can access our repo, what we're going to do is access this repository that we have, run the initialization, the lint, and then open up a dummy draft PR. So we can go ahead and send this in and you can see that it's going to then deploy the AI agents to tackle these three individual tasks. And there we go. We have the repo where it was able to access it and improve the documentation. And we can actually look at the details of what it had changed, the diff edit. And then it has also added in the new PR request, which I'll showcase in a second. But one thing I also want to mention is that with Devin, you have an integrated shell that Devin can operate within as well as a virtual code editor. So this is the machine that I was talking about. This is the isolated environment in which you can access all of your files and then work with Devin hand to hand to develop as well as prototype anything. You can manage all the files and you can even see that this is the diff edit that was changed. You can also use the browser so that you can visualize all the changes after it has been deployed. But you can see right here that it has created a draft PR. So you can see that it was able to verify the repo access, improve the documentation. It even created a diagram for this. So you can see that this is a pretty impressive bot that it can also deploy and you can have it deployed based off of a Slack message or through Linear as well, which is pretty helpful. Now, something I really love about Devon is that you have the ability to run multiple agents simultaneously. So in this case, this is one session where I'm asking to open up a dummy draft PR with a simple change and you can go look up the space, which is the DeepSeek web crawler. But at the same time, I can open up a new session and I can say that I'm having issues with this code base and I want you to debug it, start by identifying any runtime errors, et cetera, et cetera. But you can see on the left hand side, you have two different agents working simultaneously. And this way you can deploy multiple agents to tackle these different tasks in parallel. Now, something I want to note while these two agents are working on the two different tasks is Devin's capability at generating these different plans. This is the proposed plan for the task description of debugging the code base. And you can see the step-by-step -step process as to how it will deploy multi-agents to tackle this task. And overall, you can see that it is doing a thorough job in fixing all of these different components. So right now it fixed the dependency conflicts as well as the missing files. And you can see that it has created a PR request for that as well. But overall, you can see that both of these two agents have completed the two tasks where one of them has completed this task of creating the dummy PR request and the other one was able to fix the code base issues. Now, like I mentioned, there is the Devon session where you can deploy the AI engineer. There is Ask Devon, which is where you can select the repository of your choice. So in this case, I'm going to select DeepSeek Web Crawler. I can turn on deep thinking as well. And this is where it's going to be able to have the ability to provide more in-depth context of what our repository is about. So I can ask it basic questions like, what is the DeepSeek web crawler app? And then I can go ahead and send in this prompt and then it's going to be able to deep think based off the indexing that was already conducted and provide context on what our DeepSeek web crawler app is truly about. And there we go. We have a response which talks about what the actual repository is about. And in this case, it was able to do this because I had deep thinking enabled. But if you want faster responses, you can obviously turn it off and ask it generic questions on what this repository is. Now, along with deep search, as well as the AI engineer, you have deep wiki. And this is where you have the ability to access documentation and knowledge bases for your repository. So in this case, this is a full on wiki that was all created with the help 
of Devon. It did this all fully autonomously, where it created the key components overview, different graphs describing the work process or the flow of this app, how you can easily get started. And all of this was fully completed autonomously. And this is truly the power of Devon. And if you have any sort of questions, you can ask it within this search tab over here. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. Overall, this was the first AI software engineer and over time, it has gotten even better. So I highly recommend that you take a look at this as today, I didn't even go through all the components a part of Devon. There's so much more to this. So if you're interested, this is a tool, an AI coding assistant that will help you in all fronts. So go ahead and try this out with the link in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, as well as our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.